she's everything. She's so beautiful. She really, really is so beautiful. And, and she's also quite an experienced ballet dancer. To work with her was an honor. Um, she's very true to the art, very complex personality. And to a certain extent, being in the space with her and doing her choreography, you have to understand where she comes from in order before giving her any type of material. So my name is Aldzan Krause. Um, I was playing Green, which is the Earth Child for me. Um, and yeah, it's, for me, the representation of Green was like a life and growth and all those kind of things. Because for me personally, in dancing, you the way you become the character and the way you portray the character is if you know the choreography very well and it's completely set in your body, you know? So then you can just let your body go and you can just tell the story and share your feelings. Blue is the exact same. He's got a very strong classical background. And so working with him was also tricky. My name is Fuyo Mahashe and I play the character, I portray the character of Blue. Blue is a very calm, as my character was supposed to be very patient, but it is also quite a strong color. Blue, I thought of the ocean. It can be very calm, but also it can be very big and like <laughs> very, um, yeah, powerful. So I tried to incorporate that element of it. I just then tried to see where I, what I could bring of myself into the character and yeah, and then just went along with it and then hopefully all that all the research I did will come across in the character portrayal. Violet and indigo, it's a lot more specific. Their classical background is extremely strong. And so I had to be full on pen to paper with them almost going, a tondu is a tondu, and when they do their pirouette release there, if I see that they could do a little bit more, I could feed them. My name is Gemma Trahern and I play the role of Violet in the film. Violet is the youngest of the Iris Warriors. She's a humble character, her virtue is humility. She's very humble, but she can also be very proud. Her son is pride. Although she can be quiet and to herself, she can also come out as like have, having a bit of an ego. So when we started the choreography, um, my movements are very, graceful, soft, and gentle. And Will would always kind of tell me that I need to show that I'm kind of not suppressing myself for others, but I have to show that I'm not, my, my nose isn't always up in the air, but I'm humble. So I have to do movements where it seems like I'm putting others first instead of myself or... So that was an interesting process to like get into the character. But yeah, she has very graceful movements and gentle and, fl and flowing. My name is Londire Koza and I play Indigo. I like balances and I, I like slow, controlled things. It actually worked out really well that I play Indigo because everything that she does is very similar to her mother, Darkness, and funnily enough, um, Cindy and I have known each other for 10 years and we've danced together for 10 years so we know, I know how she moves and she knows how I move. She's the one that kind of whispers in every other warrior's ear to kind of help them tap into their vices and into their dark side, which is quite fun to play actually. Her movements are kind of, especially when she's tapping into that vice, her movements are very low to the ground and harsh, but when she is indigo and she's loving and caring, it's very much, she's very ethereal and very beautiful and she wants to be with everyone and wants to help everyone. So that's, it's very, I love playing indigo actually, yeah. With such an experienced crew, we had three camera teams. All with immense experience coming from sets such as Mad Max Fury Road and Black Sails. 
So what I do essentially is I set up the cameras, the lighting, and all the technical aspects of the filming process. The complexity of selecting the lighting structure, the li uh, planning out the lighting, the, the grid above the stage, there's a lot of dimming work that goes on, the colours that come up at certain times, balancing out you know, the ambient light with the, with the coloured light. We have got, I think, four dimmer discs. <laughs> Each uh, it's 128 channels, so you've got, you got each light is on a separate dimmer and a separate fader. You can group these all together for the different dance sequences and, and selecting that and, and timing those out have been quite, that's been, that's been quite a challenge. We, had, we have three cameras, one on a, a jib arm, which is a, a crane, so we can get elevated uh, shots of the stage, uh, which really help bring in a perspective of uh, giving the stage a bit of depth as opposed to being eye level which has been really, really beneficial. The other two cameras are then on a track around the stage um, in a sort of a horseshoe shape. And um, they've been picking off the different angles and different lens sizes of the dancers performing their, their, their dance. Um, then we go onto the stage and get intimate close-up shots um, that, just, that bring the audience into the world of that environment. I had never shot in this particular style before so we yeah it took it took if, if, you know two two days to figure out the structure but now we've we've got our, our rhythm we've found the structure so we've we're progressing very nicely A lot of what I do is an interpretation. I'm interpreting the sound, and I'm interpreting a lot of the themes, um, and creating a, a, like, a, like a visual language, like a visual shorthand that we can use throughout the film um, and throughout the production, because it, Iris Warriors isn't just a film, it's, you know, it's, it's actually it's a, it's a bigger idea. There's a few elements involved in the post. We're bridging two worlds. We're looking at creating something that's Purely, purely beautiful. We're looking at very beautiful pieces of animation to, to link and bridge uh, bits of live action in the real world and the, the, the world of fantasy, which is the Iris Warriors. So um, that's one aspect of the post-production and that's, that's quite intensive and it's gonna be very perfectly animated to the music and the sound. Um, and, the, and the other aspect of us is working with the live action, compositing the elements together and sort of seaming them, you know, making them, making them all link up. It's, it's very layered. The, the post is very layered, but at the same time, there's also elements of it, of the production, that, that really breathe, and they're not post heavy. And I think it'll take a while. I think we'll be in post for, you know, a good, a, a good three to six months to get to a point where we're, we're really happy with, you know, with, with what it's gonna be, and <clears throat> it's refined.